Our upcoming budget will include measures to create good jobs in our AI sector and to boost productivity by helping businesses adopt AI with an investment of $2.4 billion. The majority of that money will go into a fund for computing capabilities and technical infrastructure. Trudeau said the government will begin consulting the industry on how best to use the fund. Part of the money will also go to creating more AI protections and support workers who may be affected by the technology. The budget itself won't be tabled until the middle of the month, but the opposition is already pushing back at the level of spending. Pierre Polyev has laid out his demands in a new letter to Justin Trudeau, but as Kate McKenna shows us, the Prime Minister is making it clear he is not changing course. Conservative leader Pierre Polyev is calling on the Prime Minister to put the brakes on spending. He's spraying billions of dollars out of a fire hose, but it's more like spraying gasoline on the fire. He sent this letter to Justin Trudeau, calling on him to stop adding to the country's debt, build more homes, and pass a bill proposing more carbon tax carve-outs, things he claims are key to making life more affordable for Canadians. But Trudeau has another vision. He's crisscrossing the country, making near-daily pre-budget announcements, billions in funding for housing and artificial intelligence. Spending, he says, is responsible and will spur economic growth. Once again, Pierre Polyev is wrong, is not listening to experts and economists, and he's willing to hurt the things that Canadians rely on to get through these difficult times. But pressure is building. Six premiers are demanding a meeting to talk about their opposition to a carbon tax. What I would hope is a real frank discussion on, on the reality of what is being proposed. Trudeau hasn't accepted that invitation, reiterating that most families get more money back in rebates than they pay. All we see is premiers misinforming Canadians and wanting to take away the Canada carbon rebate checks that are making a huge difference in people's lives. If Justin Trudeau is so sure of his plan to quadruple the carbon tax to 61 cents a litre, he should have the courage to sit down with our premiers and explain that to them. Trudeau is expected to make more pre-budget spending announcements this week, ahead of the budget being tabled later this month. Expect more measures targeting millennials and Gen Z, two demographics that have been affected by what's become one of the biggest issues in Canadian politics, affordability. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Ottawa.